Nityanandam, welcome to my YouTube channel, Your Presence Hughes. This is Mani Tedugananda. Today I'm doing a special video. This video is about meditation for the eyes, not only helping to heal many of the eye disorder or diseases, it also helps improve the point of concentration. Especially now, so relevant in our modern day lifestyle, we are so much involved in looking into light source gadget, whether it's a computer, laptop, uh, mobile phone or tablets, anything that emits light uh, at, on the screen, that is a light source gadget, which causes a lot of uh, issues with the eyes, whether it's dry eyes, whether it's tiredness or deterioration of the eyesight in terms of, um, you know, ability to focus uh, has also come down tremendously. So this Trataka or this eye, gazing meditation will help a lot to basically heal some of this uh, disorder related to the eyes. So without further ado, I'm going to take you through the whole entire presentation. Actually, about a couple of weeks ago, I just uh, conducted a session with my Timely and they had such a wonderful experience. And one of the lady, her name is Joyce, and she actually inspired me to record this as a video. So I spent some time to put together the slides and the information. So here we are. Today is the uh, video which I'm sharing with the whole humanity so that more people can be healed from the eye problem. So without further ado, let me just share the slide itself. So just bear with me for a minute. So just to recap, just video is all going to be on Trataka, eye gazing meditation. Once again, my name is Mani Dhyadugananda. So basically, the source of this practice came from Hatha Yoga Pratipika. The author of this book is Yogi Swatma Rama. He is the, actually the first Indian yogic sage who emphasized the importance or the priority should be given in purification of the whole body before one starts yoga. He said that the purification such as the stomach, the intestine, the nervous system, and other system, the, the purification should be given the first priority. Therefore, he came up with this sat karma, which is a set of six cleansing practice, such as nati, dauti, basti, kalapalabhakti, trataka, and nauli. As you can see, trataka is one of the six um, of the cleansing practice. So in fact, after this uh, Sat Karma, this whole cleansing practice has been done regularly, one should practice asana and pranayama. It means start asana and pranayama after you've done this body cleansing. See, all self-discipline should start with the body. The body is the most gross level of existence. So all cleansing tenets should start with the body itself, focused on the body. So the Hatha Yoga is known as the science of purification. It is a science to prepare the body for the eventual experience of yoga, the uniting of the body, mind and spirit with the source, feeling the experience of oneness with the source. So let's look at the benefits of Trataka. First of all, it cures several eye diseases. Uh, improves your eyesight, reduces lethargy, tiredness, increases the power of concentration, also known as one-pointed awareness, ekagrata in Sanskrit. And of course, stop the oxidation of, you know, the thoughts, the tendency to oxidate. It means jumping here and there in, the, in your mind. So this practice is essentially a yogic practice of concentration. Next, this is the preparation, the technique for Trataka. You need to start to prepare first, the few things uh, before you can sit for the process of Trataka. First, understand that this practice is gonna take about 30 minutes. So do this practice in a dark room, such that you can basically focus on the candle itself, the flame of the candle, which is free from any disturbances like insects, even the, the wind, because if the 
measure wind movement would uh, make the flame flicker. So we don't want that. Place a candle at the arm distance, arm distance uh, at your eye level. So that is something you need to, if the candle is too low, raise it up to the eye level. So you prop it out, set it up properly. It is important that the flame does not flicker during the session. So make sure that you are in a place where uh, you're not disturbed by the wind movement, okay? And then begin to sit comfortably in any meditative posture, preferable, you know, siddhasana with hands placed on the knee in chin mudra or gyana mudra. So, so these are the preparation. And when you're ready, just sit in a relaxed way, relax the whole body and close your eyes. So this is the preparation. Make sure you follow these few steps before we enter into the, the actual practice itself. Next. So let's enter into the Trataka practice. The first step, the part one is eye exercise. The eye exercise fundamentally make your eyes relax, especially uh, Sometimes you've been looking at a certain way for a long, a prolonged period of time. Your eyes are tired. So this is the eye exercises before we enter into the Trataka itself. So the first eye exercise is looking up and down, vertical movement of the eyeballs. So you do up, down, up, down for 10 rounds. Okay. After you finish, followed by a simple palming. So simple palming is like this and just cup it on the eye sockets. So just rub it and cup it on the eye socket and press it gently. So that is the first eye movement. The second eye movement is right and left, but horizontal. So basically looking right and left. Do it 10 rounds as well, followed by same simple palming. Okay, so that is the second step. The third step of the eye exercise is diagonal movement. So you're going to look at it you know, move the eyeball diagonally. So one of which is right, left, right up, left down, right up, left down. So you do that 10 times. Then you look at the other direction, left up, right down. So do the other direction as well, 10 rounds. Then followed by simple palming. Again, just rest the eye. Just press it gently for a few rounds. Okay. Then the last eye exercise is the rotational movement of the eyeballs. So you're going to move your eyeballs clockwise and anti-clockwise 10 rounds. Allow, followed by the simple palming as well. So first, look at uh, do the clockwise movement of the eyeballs. 10 rounds. Then followed by anti clockwise. Once you're done, again, simple palming. Rub the eye, rub the hands, and then press it on the socket, eye socket, and just relax the eyes. for a few seconds. So when you're ready, we're going to enter into the practice of the Trataka. So I'd like you to now light the candle, turn off the light. And you're going to enter into the part two of the practice okay so part two is candle gazing so now with the eyes still closed do not open your eyes now just close your eyes and sit bring awareness to your body and your eyes in the second part i'd like you to gently open your eyes with a few blinks gaze at the floor first when you open your eyes with a few blinks, just gaze at the floor. Then do not look at the flame directly yet. Just look at the floor. 
Then slowly shift your version from the base of the candle stand, then move all the way to the top of the stand, and then look at the candle itself. Slowly look at the flame of the candle. Now start gazing at the whole flame without any effort. Do not blink the eyes. This is very important. Do not blink the eyes. There may be a few irritating sensation, but use your willpower and just gaze in a relaxed way. If tears appear, let it flow freely. It is part of the signs of a good practice. It means when the tears is coming out, it washes the impurities of your eyes. So allow the eyes to look at the flame without blinking. So learn to ignore the irritation and watering of the eyes. Do this part for at least one minute. So I repeat, look at the whole flame without any effort. Do not blink the eyes. Let the tears wash away the impurities. Now, slowly, very slowly, close your eyes. Once again, rub the palm and press and release on the eye socket, do the simple pumping again, five rounds. The way you're done before in the eye exercise, the simple pumping. Feel the cool sensation around the eyeballs as you do that. Relax for a few seconds. At this moment, do not open your eyes immediately. Just close your eyes still, allow that feeling of the cool sensation to settle into the body. Just relax for a few seconds. Next, the second part of the candle gazing is called the intensive focusing, where you're going to look at the tip of the wick of the flame. So now, gently open your eyes once again with a few blinks. Look at the floor again, do not look at the flame directly. Then slowly shift your vision from the base of the candle stand and all the way up to the top of the stand. Then look at the candle. Slowly look at the flame of the candle. See the flame of the candle. Now start gazing at the whole flame without any effort. Slowly, I'd like you to gaze at the tip of the wick of the candle, the small black cord. Look at the tip of the wick of the candle, the small black cord at the top of it. Focus your attention at that one point. This is a practice of focusing and concentration. Keep gazing, use your willpower, do not blink the eyes. Let the tears come out once again. Try not to blink your eyes as much as you can. By practice, your gaze become steady, making your mind one-pointed, focused. Start gazing at the tip of the wick of the candle, the small black cord. Continue the practice of focusing and concentration, focusing your gaze at the tip of the can tip of the wick of the candle. Now 
slowly close your eyes once again rub the palm the same way you did before and again do the simple palming five rounds press and release on the eye socket gently pressing around the eyeballs with the palms then inhale very deeply and exhale completely do it with a lot of easiness relax the whole process again feel the cool sensation around the eyeballs relax for a few seconds do not open your eyes immediately stay there for a little while and get ready for the part three of the trataka Now we enter into the part three of the Trataka, which is defocusing. So listen carefully. Do not open your eyes yet. Whenever you're ready, gently open your eyes with a few blinks. Again, look at the floor. Do not look at the flame directly. Then slowly shift your vision to the base of the candle stand. Then move to the top of the candle stand, then to the candle. Then slowly look at the flame of the candle. This time round, I'd like you to fix your attention at the flame. Look at the flame. Then gradually widen your vision by slowly defocusing your attention from the flame. Have a deep focus gaze at the flame. With an expansive awareness, collect all the details of the flame, such as the color, the multiple color, different shades of the color, the shades and the aura of the flame. Pick up all the details where your normal eyes do not see when you're focused. Look at the details or the light particles. Then observe the aura expanding more and more and see the small light particles around the flame. Recognize the subtle change just by defocusing your gaze from the, on the flame. Look at the flame in a defocused way. Pick up all the details of the light particles, the aura of the flame, the colors, the shapes. Pick up whatever you can at this stage of the practice. Observe the subtle change by defocusing. Now, after about one minute of defocusing, focus on the flame again. Look at the flame and then close your eyes. Retain the image of the flame in your mind, in your third eye. You can see the vis you can visualize the flame between the third eye and collect all the details when our eyes are closed. Spend a few moments in that vision of the flame in your third eye. Just wait till the image disappears. So enjoy the vision of the flame in your third eye and see all the details and collect all the details with your eyes closed. The moment that the flame in your third eye disappears, you can start doing the simple palming, the press and release palming that you did before. This time round, but when you do the simple palming, combine the palming with the breathing or and brahmari.
pranayama. So basically when you apply the first palming pressure, take an inhale. As you exhale, do the sound of mm. chant the sound of the M. Mm. Feel the vibration of Brahmari throughout the whole body. Repeat this same step at least four more times, total, make it five rounds. Feel the sound, the vibration of the sound resonance in the entire head region, especially around the eye area. So take a deep breath. Inhale. And as you exhale, just with the pressure of the, the palming, hum the brahmani. Again, press it and exhale. Continue to do this a few more times, a total of five rounds, and feel the vibration of the sound of this Brahmarani sound created in the entire head region, especially the around the eye area. After you finish the five rounds of Brahmari breathing with the palming, you're ready to enter into the fourth part of this practice, which is the last part, the silence. So just sit in a relaxed way and feel the silence within. After sufficient relaxation, you can just drop your hand by the side and just sit quietly for some time and feel this deep comforting effect of this Trataka practice. Become aware of the changes taking place inside of you. Recognize that the mind has completely become calm. And your concentration, willpower, and the sharpness of the eyesight have improved. You will immediately see the effect of this practice. Just stay in that silence for a few minutes and enjoy this deep relaxation in restful awareness. With that, you can gently give a bow of gratitude and give a gentle massage around the eye muscle with the three fingers, the index, middle, and ring finger. Just massage the eyes, the muscles around for a while. Just mass give your eyes a gentle massage. So now you can slowly open your eyes. This is Trataka. You're more than welcome to share your experience after you've done the practice. So it's my pleasure to share this wonderful yogic techniques uh, with humanity, which is so much needed in this modern lifestyle of constant looking at the light source gadgets. So with that, I would like to conclude today's video. Nityanandam, thank you.